Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey P. Schoonover, owner and chief medical director of Indiana Vein Specialists. We're here today to talk about ultrasound guided sclerotherapy, a useful additional step after patients have received previous saphenous vein treatment. Just to review, endovenous laser treatment, EVLT, is used to treat the source refluxing saphenous veins. But for most patients, there are usually additional surface varicosities that also need to be treated. Our primary way of addressing these branches is through a technology called ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy. Understanding ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy is based on the step of additional diagnostic ultrasound mapping. As you can see in this next step, my ultrasound technologist has already marked some of these additional branches. Once we know the locations of this additional reflex uh, for these vessels, we then can deliver the medication by needle to these areas. For patient comfort, we do numb up the skin with a small amount of local anesthetic. Based on these markings, we use a series of injections along the course of these residual veins post-treatment. Some patients can experience some slight tingling as the medication enters into the vein. As we can see, when the medication hits the vein, it actually causes the vein to spasm shut. Based on the ultrasound mapping, multiple injections may be used along the course of a residual vein. The response to the medication can range from anywhere from one week post-treatment all the way up to four to six weeks post-treatment. We monitor our patients through the process to minimize discomfort. The patient is awake and alert for the procedure and may watch the injections and the subsequent reaction from the vein on the screen. Most ultrasound-guided injection sessions take approximately 30 minutes. But this is also dependent on the baseline diagnostic mapping and how many branches are involved. After receiving ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy, we put on a series of band-aids and apply the stockings while the patient is on the table. We do request you wear the stockings for approximately four to seven days post-procedure, just during the day. For six to eight hours is usually adequate for most patients. On the day of ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy, we limit our patients to low-impact activities that day. The next day, you can resume normal activities as tolerated. After your initial ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy session, we typically see our patients back in approximately four to six weeks. You can expect another diagnostic mapping to further document any additional branches that need further treatment or to address any areas of discomfort. Ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy may or may not be covered by your insurance carrier. Our team at Indiana Vein Specialist will help determine your eligibility and make sure you understand your benefits. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy. For additional questions, please call us at 317-348-3020 or check out our website at www.indyveins.com.